guys welcome back to my channel so today i just thought i'll do a quick 38 week pregnancy update as you guys seem to be enjoying them and people have a few questions as to uh, what's happening and the baby bump and all that so i thought i'll do another quick video this Being week 38 weeks i'm two weeks away from my due date which i'm so excited for and trust me i'm so ready to have this baby because it has not been an easy ride the last week. It's been a bit of a challenge. So when I was about 37 weeks and two days, I got contractions in the middle of the night and they were quite painful to the point that I was actually waking up in the middle of the night from them. They were about two hours apart, so they were definitely not close together, not regular or anything like that. And I was like, oh, like I get i got a little bit scared but at the same time i got excited that my body is getting prepared for labor but they sort of stopped and they were quite like painful contractions uh which you know they braxton hit this straight because i didn't haven't gone into labor i'm still not in labor yes, it was to the point where actually uh, my parents came over and we asked them to stay for one more night just in case if i do go into labor but yeah it was quite intense so I'm excited that my body is preparing, but still not there, still waiting on a baby girl to arrive. And last week I was talking about my blood test results and my platelets. So I did get my blood test results back for my platelets and they did go slightly lower, but not too much lower. And they're still in the okay range. So they are definitely outside of the range, a lot lower, but they are not so bad with this pregnancy in general. They did say if it does go below 100, so currently my level's at 109. If they do go below 100, then the obstetrician needs to know. I'm not quite sure what will happen mm -hmm. or what will the obstetrician do, but if they do go, go below 80, then they will need to have platelets on standby in case if I do bleed lots and lots and lots, they could actually administer like platelets. I'm not quite sure of the mechanism or how they would do it, so I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to make myself sound like I know uh, the, how it's done or any of and that. And last time actually with Emily in the pregnancy, with the last blood test that I did before I had her, my platelets went down to 81. So they were kind of close to that threshold. They did not have the platelets or anything like that last time. Actually, that option was never mentioned back then, so I wasn't really sure. They just did not seem as concerned as they are this time around. Mm -hmm. My platelets are quite low. I'm going to need to have a cannula in, which I will need anyway, as explained in the previous vlog. It doesn't matter either way, just so they can like administer drugs if I do bleed like quite excessively and all that. So the reason why I found this week or last week a little bit of a struggle is that because I've been getting a lot of really bad back pain, like severe back pain severe pelvic pain and like crutch pain which i think that's what they call like lightning crutch which is basically when the baby like goes down a bit lower and i definitely feel like she's quite low and it has caused a little bit of like numbness and shooting pain down both my legs which has been a bit of a struggle while looking after a toddler because i did feel a few times that my leg might give out while i'm carrying her so that hasn't been too fun and I've just been super, super, super exhausted as well. And Normally or a very unlike me exhausted and at the same time I am having a lot of trouble sleeping at night as a, a whole night sleep and we do have a lot going on at the same time. So I understand that I'm probably not helping myself with this situation, being busy, a busy mom and yeah just a whole lot going on and not sleeping at night so it sounds a bit silly like of course you're going to be exhausted and i am exhausted but honestly i try my best to have one nap a day for about like half an hour to an hour and sleep at night as well but the night sleep is a bit of a struggle just cannot cannot sleep through the night at all i have to wake up at least twice which is bit of pain in the butt and I do get a really I get a little bit annoyed at myself because you know I'm about to have another newborn and by default I'm gonna be waking up a few times at night so this is like the last opportunity to like get a bit of sleep 
but all the pregnancy hormones and all that they do cause insomnia and yeah and I'm just really uncomfortable with the belly and the back and the back actually gets really painful when I am lying down at night so that doesn't actually help the situation so at this rate with all the symptoms and the pain and the exhaustion I can like pretty much vow to everyone that I'm going into labor like every second of the day but I'm not I'm still here haven't had the baby yet or anything like that but I am excited to have her um, and I'm so ready to have her my body I feel like is pretty done with this uh, pregnancy yeah, but at this rate you know my body's preparing for labor but i have no idea when it's going to happen and it is a waiting game and it's a bit of a struggle the last few weeks with the, all the symptoms and all that and you always feel like you're going into labor and it's a little bit disheartening sometimes that you're not when you do feel like you are because your body is just um exhausted from carrying all of this around and making this baby for nine so months. What I would just like to know from you guys what other videos you'd like me to make and I'll do my best to make them and I am planning on vlogging my birth and delivery so get excited for that hopefully it's a positive experience. So for a little bump update this is me at 38 weeks pregnant. She's not quite low yet I feel and this is it from the front if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because I do upload a video every week I'll see you next time bye